Welcome back. I made a mistake. I might have made a big mistake. I might have made a little bit of a oopsie. <laughs> I bought another purchase and I learned something and I'm still learning something. I just bought this on Friday or Thursday night. Today's Monday morning. You're going to watch this on Tuesday. Um, but I just bought this. Uh, let me show you what it is and uh, I'll tell you why uh, I might have made a mistake. So, flip you around. Let me we have a 1997 Nissan Pathfinder standard transmission 4x4. This, when I first saw it, it was listed for a very cheap price. I jumped on it and went and picked it up. Kind of made up my mind along the way that I was going to purchase it no matter how it looked. And uh, it looks pretty beat up and it looks pretty destroyed. And it looks like somebody's been playing with it for a while. Let me zoom you out. And uh, it's being held together with uh, fingers crossed. Uh, if you don't know what those are, that's your uh, standard transmission and your four-wheel drive shifter and your e-brake. Um, it's got 240,000 miles on it, but overall it looks pretty decent for being as old as it is and a 4x4 that's been abused. Looks like it started its life in Michigan and moved its way out here to Arizona. It needs a lot of work, but what I learned and what I'm upset about-ish is that Arizona has decided to model our... DMV MVD after California and that'd be fine if California was smart, but they're not they're stupid uh, And they're all about the corporation not about the small guy and uh, that's who Arizona wants to be like so here we are <sighs> Modeling ourselves like California Here's the problem now and I didn't know this until right now when I tried to get the title transferred uh you cannot buy a vehicle, you cannot transfer the title of a vehicle if there's not a year's worth of emissions available. So if you have six months worth of emissions on your registration and you want to sell the car, you have to go renew your emissions to sell it. Stupid. I don't care. I'm buying a project car. This is a project car. The whole idea behind this is a project car. I don't give a crap about emissions. I don't give a crap about the registration. Don't even register it. I'm fine. This is going to sit in the garage until it's ready to run. It's not going to pass emissions right now because it's got a dozen check engine lights. And when I'm going through this in the daylight, I looked at it at night. I would have bought it anyway because I didn't know this regardless. But now that I'm looking at daylight, this thing's been jimmy rigged twice over three times. I don't know. It's pretty bad. So again, for example, one of the codes is the knock sensor. So the previous owner took the knock sensor and relocated it. This is typically under the plenum, I believe, and they just relocated up here. Don't ask me about if that's smart because I kind of don't think it is, but I don't really care. The engine's old. Uh, we might replace it eventually anyway. Um, but this is the knock sensor. He put it in. It's still got a code. But what I found while playing with this is he had it wired into these two wires. And from what I can tell, these are going to the original knock sensor. So when he put this knock sensor on, essentially he cut power off from it and was going to the wrong side of the wires, I think. I don't know this for sure. All I know is I don't have any ground or power on this side, but I do on this side. So I took his connections, ripped them out, moved it this side. But then I realized even with that, somebody ripped out the second wire on this stupid knock sensor. So it's still not going to work. None of that's a big deal. I'll fix it. But I only have 15 days from the time of the notary, which was poof, last Friday. So, <laughs> this is stupid. Arizona is being stupid. We're following stupid rules because they want to phase out old vehicles. I don't know. I don't really understand. They're taking hobbies away from people. They're taking freedoms away from people. They're forcing people to wear masks. I'm getting sick and tired of our government. Still my government, yes, but I'm getting tired of them. So, but then I was looking at the battery, too. And the battery, like this positive terminal... Uh, this is an eyelet right here, and they had the eyelet sitting right here in this slot. This was turned around the other way. Well, as you might think, the slot is not clamped tight, and that meant that positive terminal was all loose and wiggly, which means it wasn't making a good connection. The exact same thing with the negative. It was on this side, and it wasn't a tight connection. I also replaced the starter already, but I don't want to keep... I don't want to keep replacing parts because I don't technically own this till I have the title. I only got 15 days to get this through a mission so I can get the title. And I'm freaking annoyed. I didn't buy this to drive it every day. I mean, I got minivan my wife's drive. The 350Z I drive. The truck I drive when we need a truck. This is the play toy. It's not a priority. I don't need emissions today. The emissions are good for two more months. And but they won't let you take a title 
unless you got a year's worth of emissions. Oh, so frustrating. <laughs> Anywho, if we can get the title figured out, this is going to be a fun little toy. If we don't get the title figured out, hit me up in the comments below with some good ideas of how to destroy this thing. We might blow it up, shoot it up. I don't know. I don't know what's legal. I don't know what's not. We'll figure that out if the time comes. But right now, Arizona, you're letting me down, man. You're letting me down. I'm assuming what they're trying to do is phase out older vehicles by not letting you buy them. If nobody can transfer a title on an older vehicle because it has issues, typically the reason they're trying to get rid of it is because they don't want it or they can't afford it or anything else, but now they can't get rid of it, which is going to force them to junk it, and that's going to clear out our old vehicle inventory. If that's what we're trying to do, Arizona, shame on you. Some of us have hobbies. Some of us like to fix with these up. Some of us enjoy playing with them. Get your crap straightened out. Don't take our hobbies away. Don't take our old cars away. And uh, don't make me mad. Please don't make me mad. You kind of already made me bad. But please don't make me more mad. <laughs> uh, anyway, stay tuned. We might blow this thing up. We might fix it up. I don't know which way it's going to go until we get this title thing figured out. But stay tuned, thumbs up, subscribe, see you later.